How are you? <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming to my presentation. My name is Hyeji Chang, and I'm so excited to talk about my work, why I attend Purdue. Uh, my title show, uh, show title is Ready Cabbage Tree. As these words indicate, I created images with the three piece figures, which are symbolic and somewhat abstract. I have uh, had a lot of questions about meaning of a ready cabbage and tree from, from viewers. So I would like to start with the story about my main figures. Here is a drawing that I relate to my story. Actually, this one is not the original one, but I have been created to help you understand it. Uh, when I was an undergraduate, I drew a figure and it looked like a rabbit and a heart. You can imagine this one. It's the one that I talk about. Uh, without any thought, I added several lines and it comes to different form. And the shape looked like three branches or a body of a cabbage. It was fun to watch how one chair would evolve into another. While I sketched out the shape, a story suddenly formed in my head. That is the story that I brought here. A, a rabbit lived, died, and was buried. From the dirt, a cabbage grew, died, and was buried. The, from the ground, a tree grew and lived. The tree contained the dead rabbit and the cabbage. After the tree died, it turned to dirt and provided the world another rabbit. As some examples, I grew my earlier work which reflect the story I made. Uh, let's go back to the story uh, we are talking about. <coughs> this story was short, but it symbolized the meaning that I would like to talk about through my work. When I was a junior and undergraduate, I was amazed by our lives. My life was the result of my many lives that had proceeded my own. <laughs> my life originated from the beginning of humanity. My own existence means that there is no disconnection between me and the beginning. Not only my existence, but also your existence and the existence of other creatures have the same story. The thought made me cherish our existence on Earth. From this idea, another realization about our lives are dependent on the Earth. We cannot live without the relationship between humans and nature. I wanted my work to reflect this relationship Yet also it explained the circle of life. This story also reflects the Asian culture that I grew up in. Like China or Japan, Korea was influenced by Buddhism. I'm not a Buddhist, but I cannot deny the notion that gives value to the of every creature as well as the connection between human and nature. From this perspective, even after a life form or essence dies and disappears, it remains worse in another creature's body. So the image of a rabbit, a cabbage, and a tree became symbols of an individual. They became the starting point for my work, and I added my experiences and my imagination. These fishy images come from of my 
dreams. Sometimes I edit images from dreams. To me, images from dreams are important because dreams are part of my experience. Especially, repeating the image from dreams means a lot. This is our subconscious trying to tell us something important to us. Long time ago, I lost my brother by leukemia. People, he was hospitalized. I had a dream that he ate a fish, and he said, the taste of fish like beef. After waking up, I thought that there was a strange dream. Usually eating something in my dream, it's not a good sign for me, because after I had that dream, usually I catch a cold or I will be sick. So even though my brother was the person who ate the fish, I felt worried. Two weeks later, I realized the meaning of the fish dream. He was diagnosed with leukemia. He passed away one year later. Soon after several fish dreams, I realized that the image of the fish in my dream world had sign for me. I began using fish images as symbols for dilemmas, frustrations, or agonies in my work. Until now, I have explained the story and I, the figures that I made. Uh, today, we are facing a lot of problems in our environment because of our activities. As a person who values the relationship between human and nature, I create works that relate to global environmental issues. Plastic pollutants in the ocean, dead animals that consume plastics, dirty air, and decline of honeybees, all are result of our activities. Without health surroundings, our life cannot survive. Up until this point, I have used my relationship with nature to create my work. Now the influence of our destructive behavior has taken hold of my works. I have interested in the issue of microplastics among environmental problems. Plastic is very convenient and cheap. It is lightweight and long-lasting but it cannot decompose naturally. Trashed plastic become broken down into microplastics when and which can be inhaled or consumed by every living creature. I printed the image of animal organs and human organs of the self-portrait of rabbit, cabbage, and trees. I, as I mentioned earlier, the rabbit, cabbage, and tree indicate every individual. Perforated images of organs symbolize contaminated bodies by microplastics. We don't know yet microplastics are harmful to us. However, they interrupt wild animals' habitat and prosperity. When I heard about the plastic problems, I came up with these images. These were focused on the relationship between humanity and our technology. For living, our ancestors had to know how to handle fire. Without a match or lighter, keeping and handling fire is critical for their life. The wisdom of handling fire is connected to human survival. Fire symbolizes enlightenment, wisdom, or power. Although fire brings us light, security, and convenience, fire also brings hazard to us. It burns everything and destroys when it touches. 
if we cannot handle fire or technology, it will be a great harm for humanity. Uh, from now, I would like to explain briefly the difference between painting and printmaking. Painting are embodied through drawings and shaped by action and emotion with brush strokes and colors. Painting changes every moment by brushing and stacking of colors. Completion is scheduled, but the process of finalization is always confusing. I have to rely on my instinct and knowledge about the process. However, printmaking is very different from painting. Printmaking is planned by drawing, then step include a chance for drawing onto wood block or metal plate, making marks on the image, charging ink, and printing. Print papers absorb ink with pressure when they pass through a press. So the color are very deep and give a sense of stillness. The results are always different from my expectation. Like many happenings and events in our life, painting and printmaking bring into surprises and disappointment with different ways. My work is simply as I believe that symbols are an efficient way to communicate with the viewers. Symbols carry the possibilities of interpretation about our artwork. They create more emotions and different messages depend on viewers' experiences and personality. The symbols look like a puzzle and they create the meaning understood by viewers. Even I don't know the clear meaning of these symbols perfectly, since it was up to interpretation. However, I have used these symbols in my work through the imagination, dreams, and experiences. Lastly, I had a dream in which a butterfly appeared. The butterfly entered a small space under my bed. I panicked when I stretched my arm to try to catch it while I bent my body. I wondered after waking up, why I scared the butterfly? Actually, I'm not afraid to catch a butterfly by my hand. And it was a mystery of the meaning that butterfly flew under my bed. The butterfly is a very common symbol. One of my professors asked me why butterfly is too common. <laughs> but through the metamorphosis of a butterfly, people on the hope to transform into a better status. I connected my dream image to my situation. We hope that a transformation occurs to us for spiritual growth or get wisdom to handle our situation. Like the story that I created, a rabbit turns a cabbage from the cabbage to a tree. But for the transformation, Similarly, that is required. Revert through change is prerequisite. I hope, like the butterfly, the human will learn and realize its connection with the nature through spiritual growth. As doing so, we can handle with the modern world. I would like to show the acknowledgement to my committee. Without their help and guide, I cannot be here today. And also, I really appreciate my colleagues, especially Soya. Without their support, until now, <coughs> I cannot make it. <laughs> Thank you so much.